So that is fantastic news that 2023 will see that rebirth of the Geneva International Motor Show after what has been a really difficult few years due to the pandemic. However, it wouldn't be right if I didn't carry on without touching on the current world situation, which is certainly very pressing. Absolutely, and, and we, we agree. We have discussed this intensely in, in within the jury uh, over the last week and uh, on, on the weekend. We have taken the decision by majority that uh, we suspend um, the Russian jury members from this year's from this year's contest, and uh, that we don't count their votes and that we do not show the Russian flag on the screen. Yeah. Back to more positive things. Yes. We have a very impressive lineup here. Seven beautiful cars. Now, six of these seven are electric, and the and the seventh is hybrid. So, talk us through that. That's unprecedented, right? It's unprecedented, and uh, it, it's due to several facts. I mean, the we had already when in the long list uh, from which we chose these cars, we had from 90, uh, 39 cars, we had already 18 electric vehicles. Wow! And and then, uh, of course, the jury members are always interested in the latest technology and th these cars do represent the latest technologies yeah. and besides that everybody is talking about e electric vehicles n right now and uh, some manufacturers have already announced deadlines for uh for ICE cars for internal combustion engine cars so this is no wonder that no. we have these six EVs on stage yeah, it's really representative of Absolutely. how the world is yeah. changing, it's isn't it? It's rapidly changing r right now, and this is, the, this is the proof. Wow. Well, seven very exciting finalists. Let's take a closer look. Have a look at this.